The following is a production of Cary TV, the town of Cary's government access channel. Call to order the May 14th meeting of the Cary Town Council's quasi-judicial meeting. And I would ask you to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're at agenda item 1.2, which is the adoption of our agenda. I would entertain a motion to do so. So moved. There's a motion. Second. And a second. Discussion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Our first and only quasi-judicial public hearing is for Wake Academy. An overview of the hearing procedures and detailed rules are attached to the printed agenda. All speakers who want to speak during the public hearing must be administered an oath by Mrs. Johnson, who is to my right. We'll pause just a moment to allow those individuals who would like to speak at the public hearing to approach Mrs. Johnson and receive their oaths. And I'm gonna pause from saying or doing anything until that has been completed. I'll now ask if any council member has had, has had any site visits, ex parte communications, financial relationships, special knowledge, or close relationship to an affected person to disclose, starting with Mr. Yerha. I have not, sir. Mr. France? No, never none. I've had site visits. I guess I've been to that church twice for events, and that's been years ago. Uh, but I do not think it will impact my uh, decision making whatsoever. Mr. Smith? I have none. I have not. All right. Based on the disclosures you have heard from council members, I'd invite anyone to the podium who has been sworn in to speak if you have an objection to our participation in this hearing. Seeing no one will continue. I'll open the quasi-judicial hearing. Mr. Lovelin of our staff will introduce the hearing. Welcome. Good evening, council. This is a request by Wake Academy for a special use permit for a school located at 107 Quaid Drive. This is a 11 and a half acre property located on the south side of Quaid Drive, 
west of the intersection of Evans Road and Quay Drive. Quay Drive being a local street, Evans Road being a, a thoroughfare. As far as the surrounding land uses, you have a manufacturing land use to the west, uh, have vacant land use to the south, multifamily residential to the east, which is across Evans Road, and an assortment of commercial and commercial service uses on the northern side of Quay Drive across uh, from this site. There are no existing uh, transit routes in the proximity of the site. Town of Cary GIS does show two uh, stream buffers on the site, one along the western property boundary, one running along the southern property boundary. The site is located in the Silverton PDD, Plan Development District. The zoning uh, translates to the equivalent of uh, office research and development district under the current LDO. Uh, the office, re uh, office research and development ORD district does require special use for schools in this district, which is why the applicant is before you today. This is an existing aerial of the site. As you can see, there is uh, existing development on the site. Uh, the church, uh, Cary Church of God, has built a 59,000 square foot building, which they are using for their religious assembly uh, use. Uh, there is also, uh, that is not showing on this aerial, a communication tower on the western end of the parking lot, which has been constructed and is, will be in use shortly. The applicant is not proposing any changes to the exterior of the building, uh, nor any changes to the site itself. We'll be utilizing uh, the existing building uh, as is, save for any changes uh, required by building code per the applicant's statement. The applicant has submitted this circulation plan as, as part of their traffic management plan. Uh, they intend to accommodate the queuing, vehicular queuing uh, for the school on the site using the existing parking lot. The green route you see there is the queuing route uh, per the uh, initial conditions when they start operation. The applicant has stated that they expect approximately 20 students as they begin operations. As they uh, mature, as the use matures, uh, it could get up to 90 students, which is the maximum capacity that the applicant's traffic impact analysis uh, has stated. As they increase their traffic or their student capacity, they may go to a double stacking in their parking lot, which is what the red line indicates. Staff did include a drafted condition uh, in the staff report uh, that uh, would allow a condition to of a maximum of 90 students for the use, which is in keeping with the uh, suggested or the stated maximum student capacity in the applicant's TIA. As there are no site modifications uh, to the site or no modif changes proposed to the site, there are no modification requests uh, proposed by the applicant. Uh, this concludes staff initial presentation. I'll now turn it over to the applicant to present testimony in support of their request. Uh, at the conclusion of the applicant speaking and any other speakers that may be present, staff will come back and present our professional observations. Thank you, Mr. Loveland. This time, I'll call on the applicant's attorney to present arguments and evidence in support of the application by addressing the applicable approval criteria. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, Jason Barron with Morningstar Law Group here on behalf of the applicant, Wake uh, Gifted Academy, and they do business as Wake Academy. Uh, excited to be here tonight. Here with me is Lissy Wood. She is the uh, represents the applicant and will be the administrator of the school. Also here is Mr. Mike Horn of Kimley Horn and Associates who has performed the traffic analysis that is in the staff report. And then finally, Mr. Mike Moore of Worthy and Wachtel. He is the appraiser who has examined this site. I'm going to handle, we're handling things a little bit differently with this hearing uh, and have consulted with the town's attorney and Mr. Silverstein. And at this time, I'm going to ask the clerk to distribute two affidavits. The first one is of Mr. Moore, who is essentially prepared to report analyzing uh, potential economic impact. And then the second is the affidavit of Mike Horn, uh, which reviews the traffic. And I would ask that those be submitted into the record. Um, as, as the staff has indicated, this is a proposal for a school to be located on a site that's currently improved for a fairly large church. Uh, as staff indicated, there are no modifications to the outside of the building and the way that the, uh, the way the parking area is set up, it actually sets up pretty well for potential queuing associated with the school. 
Uh, at this time, I will keep my comments short and, and ask uh, Ms. Lissy Wood to come and, and provide you, you all with some more information associated with the school in particular. Hi, my name is Lissy Wood and I'm applying for a special use permit for a small private school in Cary for academically gifted students. I believe this is a great opportunity for the town and it fits an educational void in the area. I grew up in Cary, um, one of the few, and attended Farmington Woods, West Cary, and Apex High School. And after high school, I went to UNCW for my undergraduate in elementary education. Um, I moved to Charlotte for a year and taught there, and then I came back home and taught at Adams Elementary for three years and Turner Creek Elementary for seven. Um, excuse me, I taught at Turner Creek Elementary for, 14, for 10 years, and the last seven of those were as a gifted resource teacher. During this time, I also attended NC State to get my master's in instructional technology and ECU for my gifted certification for education. Um, I really love working with gifted kids and I feel there's a need in this area, especially in the western part of the county. Um, data shows that it's a high proportion of gifted students in this area. We're passionate about gifted students and giving them a comfortable place for learning and to be themselves. And in the, we started this pro, sorry, we started this process several years ago, and one of the steps was finding a location. We reached out to several churches in the area, and um, because they often have classroom space that's set up for children that they don't use during the week. One of the churches that responded was Cary Church of God, and they have three classrooms that's perfect for our use. They're on the ground floor, and they they were already um, equipped to be for elementary age children. We are doing nothing to the structure, um, nothing to the outside, nothing to the inside. We are just coming in to what's already existing. If you look at the building floor plan, the church office is on one side of the building and we will be located on the opposite end of the building. There's secure doors in place on each end and then there's another second set of secure doors from there, from the parking lot. Each end has its own parking lot so we will not be um, disrupting the church at all and during the week, they do not use the facilities during the day. They um, have plenty of space, as noted before, for the carpool line, and noted in the traffic report, we won't be interrupting the flow of traffic at all um, off Evans Road, Cary Parkway, or Quaid. Um, in addition, I think the location of the church for the town of Cary, for us, is uh, perfect. We, again, we won't um, impact traffic at all. It's easy to access and we can utilize a lot of the local businesses for our school. Next year we have, currently we have 16 students from, enrolled and we have a max with a max of 30 students for the first year, but um, again noted we anticipate 20 students. In the few years we'll grow um, to 45 students and continue growing through middle school age children as they grow and up <coughs> to 90 students. And we also um, employ we have two teachers employed and two part-time employees. For I prepared the statement and swear that everything in the statement is true and um, correct. Thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Lissy. Uh, Mr. Mayor, at this time, I would like to submit into evidence the two affidavits that the council has received, as well as uh, Ms. Wood's testimony, along with a, the staff report that you all have received, which includes the applicant statement, which Ms. Wood just uh, swore was her was her own testimony. Uh, Again, they're excited to be here. We're here to answer any questions that you all may have. We believe that uh, with the council taking judicial notice of the contents of the LDO as well as the other materials that have been submitted into evidence on the applicant's behalf with the requirements for approval of a special use permit have been met in this case and respectfully request you all do the same. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> this time I'll invite others, other speakers who have been sworn in who wish to speak in support of the application to approach the podium. Seeing no one will continue. Any cross-examine of any witnesses that have testified so far? We see none. We'll now open the uh, hearing for those who are opposed to the request. I would invite you forward. We have none. And now call on staff for testimony to add. We have no other comments at this time other than remind you of the conditions that are in the staff report. Uh, that concludes staff presentation. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you okay. have. Any uh, one that's been sworn in have any objections to the competency or evidence or testimony? Seeing no one, we'll now move to the deliberative phase of the hearing and open it up to council members for comments or questions. I wish they were all this easy. 
<laughs> that we wouldn't hate quasi-judicial so much. Um, I'm looking at the staff report. I just want to make sure I see what the um, conditions are. Do you know what page? Let's see here. You're on the, uh, on the sheet. Oh, you yeah. yeah. I don't actually have Oh, yeah, I do have that sheet. Sorry, I'm sharing. For those who uh, have uh, been around <clears throat> gifted children or have had gifted children, this is a need. Uh, I just wish you were here 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> Um, I remember struggling to find a school for my daughter, and uh, we, we just accepted the best we could find, but we did not find a school for gifted children uh, that was acceptable. So I do think that this really fills a need that we have uh, in this area. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, we went through our little struggles with our first daughter. And you, Howard, or Harold, you probably remember that because at the time I was on the council and um, just trying to find accommodations for for a child who was a ready learner but not fitting into the classroom environment perfectly. So that's wonderful. Um, I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve uh, the request with the conditions listed below um, on this paper. Do I need to read them out? You can, if you reference the conditions on that particular document, that would be satisfactory. Okay, and that's my motion. Okay, second. There's a motion and a second discussion. Everything in order, Mr. Silverstein? Yes, sir. Okay, all in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 As opposed, motion carries unanimously. And if there's no other business, I'll close the public hearing. And we have a closed session, and I'll entertain a motion to go into closed session. Mayor, I'll make a motion uh, pursuant to GS 143-318.11A4. I move that we hold a closed session to discuss matters relating to the location or expansion of industries or other businesses in the town, including agreement on a tentative list of economic development incentives that may or may not be offered by town in negotiations. Second. There's a motion and a second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. As opposed, motion carries unanimously. We are in the closed session. We had to make
we'll reconvene our council meeting. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. There's a motion second. and a second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries and we are adjourned. Thank you. Cary TV. Visit the Town of Cary's website at townofcary.org.